What's up everybody? It's Larry here with Triple R Feeders and today we're working on some roach stuff. Um, so I originally, you know, just like everybody else, started with water crystals. Then I went away from them and I used nothing but uh, fruits and vegetables to provide the moisture for the roaches because I kind of just didn't like uh, how the water crystals were, I like mixing them up and they'd get kind of gunky and all this crap. Uh, and then we hit our next stage where we were just too big to be buying fruits and vegetables, uh, enough of them, every single day or whatever, to make sure that all of our roaches had all of the stuff that they needed, right? To keep their moisture level up, uh, which moisture is high, very, very important with roaches. It might be the most important thing when raising dubia roaches. Everybody always talks about temperature, temperature, temperatures. What's your temperatures? You need to be asking what's your humidity. How do you keep them? humid enough? How do you keep them hydrated? How do you keep everything moisture-wise high enough? Because that's what's more important than the temps. Anyway, so we, we, then, then we went back to water crystals. Then I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this misting system. Went to set that all up and I still want to use a misting system because I'm misting them about twice a day uh, by hand with like a pump sprayer or whatever. Um, so eventually I want to set this automated misting system up but I went to go set it up and turns out I wasn't doing it right and it wasn't working I have to buy some extra stuff to make it work that's not what this video is about this video is about going back to water crystals and I think we're gonna end up using water crystals forever on and out and uh, I think I'm actually gonna build like um, um, a PVC type thing that you like fill with water crystals and then you know it just keeps you know that way you don't have to use bowls or anything but that's coming later, got to experiment with that. Don't have time for that shit right now. So we needed more bowls because we quit using water crystals kind of for a while and uh, now we got to shit 10 more bins and we needed more bowls. What I used to use is these type of bowls from um, like I think it's like Zoomed, the Reptorac or whatever. But those things are freaking expensive. Not really, but when you need like 140 of the motherfuckers, they start to get expensive. So I was like, I'm not gonna go order freaking, we needed like 50 more bowls. And I'm like, I'm not gonna go order 50 bowls at like whatever they are, $7 a piece when you buy them in bulk. It might even be more than that. Um, so it's like, we gotta figure something else out. Well, this is what we figured out, y'all. We went to good old Wally World. And in the section, the kids section, there are these little kid plates. And, um, they got a little lip on them. You know, you can see they got like a, a, a lip on them. They're not like a flat bowl. They got a lip. So it holds those water crystals in there nice and good. And here we got some dubious drinking. Got even little babies all the way up on here drinking. But they're smooth when you buy them. And as you know, dubious can't climb smooth surfaces. Oh, by the way, by the way, the most important thing, the whole reason we didn't want to order these big ass bowls was the price. So you ask, how much is that bowl? Or that plate? Oh, it's probably like a dollar or two, right? 50 fucking cents. That bowl was 50 cents for that plate. 50 cents. So we bought like 50 of them and only spent $25. $25 for 20 little dubia bowls. That was a good price. They're the perfect size in these bins sitting on top of these uh, egg flats here. Perfect size. Got a lip on it. I like shallow bowls with a little bit of a lip. Perfect. But they're smooth. And Dubious can't climb smooth. So we had to figure out our next thing. Now I've done this in the past and I know what you're already probably thinking. Larry, I know exactly how you made them not smooth. You just sanded them. And that's exactly what we do. We just sanded all these holes down. This is our final project product right here. You get a nice bowl, it's all sanded so the dubious can still climb it. You gotta sand the inside so they can get back out. So sand the lip here so they can actually get it over that lip. And then sand the outside so they can get in. But there you go, a 50 cent, a little bit of work, you know, minute or two a bowl. And you got yourself some 50 cent dubia bowls. You don't gotta go out there and buy all these high tech things and spend all your hard earned money to be in this industry. Sometimes you just gotta be a little creative and have just an insy bit of ingenuity. That's what it's all about. Thank y'all. If you have any questions about anything feeder related, rats, roaches, anything like that, 
you just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to make you a video. You like my little southern accent there at the end? I don't know, I was just fucking around. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, go check us out at triplerfeeders.com. Until ne next time, thank you all.